All right, so let's kick off our discussion with a bit of a recap. We've already talked about both the OSI model and the TCP IP model, and you know how both of them relate, but I wanna make sure we do a quick recap. So TCP IP, it stands for Transmission Control Protocol slash Internet Protocol. And remember, the OSI model, it was designed and it was never implemented. So it's a conceptual model. It's a model that we use as a teaching model. TCP IP, on the other hand, however, was implemented. And it's by far the most common and most widely used protocol, both on the internet and local area networks. So you're going to hear a lot of people call this the internet protocol. And it's called the internet protocol because it was originally designed for the internet but it's also very widely used in local area networks. In fact, it's the most common protocol used in both. So when you hear about this, understand that it really is, it's the networking protocol that built the internet, not only the wide area network portion of the internet, but also all the private local area networks that connect to the internet. So you're probably wondering, why is it called TCP IP? Well, it's called TCP IP because when they were designing it and defining protocols, the first two protocols that were defined were TCP and IP. Hence, they called it TCP IP. Now, remember when we're comparing this model that we have listed over here with this diagram, when we're comparing it to the OSI model. Remember, the OSI model has its seven layers and the TCP IP model only has four different layers. And if you look at them side by side, they do map, but there's going to be a little bit of a difference when it comes to the different layers because they consolidated some of the layers in the TCP IP model when they broke them out into seven separate layers in the OSI model. Now, there are numerous different protocols and I listed some of the more popular ones here. We're gonna be discussing a lot of these protocols in this course and specifically in this section and in the next three sections, we're gonna be discussing these three layers. And also, we're gonna be spending, in addition to just our quick overview in this section, in terms of the internet layer, we're gonna be spending a lot of time when it comes to IP addressing. We're also gonna be spending a lot of time talking about routing and routing protocols as well. So that concludes our quick introduction to TCP IP. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next lecture. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.